All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So this evening, we're gonna be out working on the combine and getting it ready for corn harvest. It's drying out pretty quickly now that we got some wind and we got some sun, or actually a lot of sun. There's not a cloud in the sky. But anyway, it's getting really close to time to harvest corn because the ground's dry, the crop is definitely dry. So, or the ground is almost dry, crop is definitely dry. So we might, might go this evening or probably tomorrow, but we'll just have to see what happens. But right now we're gonna be tightening everything up, making sure everything is in tip top shape. So when it's go time, we can hammer down. So let's go. Harvest 2021 is a go. Let's hammer down. Now some of this corn in this field is down. Like it's kind of bent over and on the ground. And it just depends on the variety of corn that we planted. Like one variety might be a little bit stronger than the other to support, stand up to that wind and the rain. But most of it is pretty good. But some of it, I can see it's kind of flat on the ground. So just have to slow down in those areas and make sure we can get as much corn as we can picked up. can't see it well on the combine tires but the mud is sticking pretty well to the tires so dad doesn't like how sticky it is so I'm not sure what he's decided to, to do yet but we'll see what he wants to do all right now I'm gonna go get some wagons moved around just so I can start unloading the grain cart onto the wagons but it's kind of soft out here so I'm gonna have to be careful where I park these wagons
Katie, I think we're gonna be done for the night. Just getting the last unloaded off the combine, get it onto the grain cart, and then we will start unloading loads into the bin. Good morning. It is day number two of corn harvest. We just got going. It's about 10:30. So the ground is, or not the ground, the stalks are dry enough to where the combine will process them. And the ground is obviously still muddy since it wouldn't have dried overnight. But not too bad. Just gotta keep plugging along, and we'll get it done. Well, Dad plugged up the combine. I would assume it's through the clean grain elevator, but I don't know. We'll just have to go see what happened and what he's gonna try and do now. Who knows? We'll see. Well, we got the clean grain elevator unplugged, but that much grain plugging should not plug up the grain the clean grain elevator. So Dad's gonna go bring the combine in front of the shop, and then he's going to tighten up some springs, just adjust it because it should be tighter than that. That should not plug up that clean grain elevator, so we're going to make some adjustments to it and hopefully that makes it run a little better. Well, we've kind of concluded that there's not really many adjustments or any adjustment we can make because the spring is where it's supposed to be. And another, and another thing is Dad was probably just going a little bit too fast for the corn because it's yielding pretty good, I think. Dad said about 180 to 190 in spots, so it's doing pretty good. show you how guys what I do to unload the grain cart so I pulled up right next to the wagon got the auger out and then I'll start the PTO so it drives the grain cart then I'll speed it up and it's a 1000 rpm PTO so I'll speed it up to 1000 rpms I can see it up there you guys can't 1000 rpms or so and then I pull this lever back and that opens the gate. So corn comes out of the grain cart, up into the auger, 
and right up into the wagon. Then I got my camera up here, so you guys can't see it, but I can see down into the wagon because there's a camera up on that spout. So that makes it really easy to see and make sure I don't spill because before we had the cameras, I would spill quite a bit. But I'm getting better at running the grain cart and with the cameras, it makes it pretty easy. Well, apparently something else happened because we pulled up here and we would not be pulling up here and unloading if something didn't happen. So apparently something's wrong and harvest, the corn harvest is not going as planned. We'll see what happens now. Yeah, I would guess something is wrong with the header height control or something like that that keeps the head raised up or, or centers it or something because he's raising it up and down and tilting it. So we'll see. Well, the struggle bus continues. Dad parked the combine in front of the shop and I don't know exactly what's wrong with it, but it's not a good sign if the combine is parked in front of the shop in the middle of the day. So we'll see what we're gonna do now. All right, so what we did is we lowered those snoots on or snouts on the front of the corn head and we lowered them because the field tracker system is on three of the snoots to keep them level, keep the corn head level and raise it up to the correct height. Well, it wasn't, ra it wasn't raising it high enough. It just wouldn't raise very high. So it was digging into the ground. Well, we raised those up or no, we lowered them so they would be more sensitive and touch the ground. So they would t touch the ground like the tips of those snoots but then the rollers like towards the back of the combine wouldn't be digging into the ridges, if that makes sense. Like there's rollers that suck up the, the plant, the corn stalk, that sucks it into the head. Well that, since the tracker system was letting the whole corn head too far into the ground, it was digging into those ridges and that, you don't want those digging into that dirt. So we just lowered the snoots, therefore that tracker system would compensate for it and it would raise it up a little bit higher just to keep those rollers and all the rest of the corn head out of the mud. Yeah, that's some flat corn, all right. Oh well, hopefully it's, hopefully it's just in this spot.
the down corn is really bad. And so when the rollers that suck up that stalk, they sh or they suck it down actually, they rip off that ear, well that's just kind of, it's pulling out of the whole stalk out of the ground, bringing mud with it. So it's plugging up the head, getting in the combine. So it's a nightmare, but we'll keep going, I think. What a freaking mess. Both wagons together, hooked together, overfilled. It doesn't end well. So, I had to unhook them, pull them up there. The other one's unloading now. What a mess. Oh well. I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna get it up there, get it unloaded, get these wagons back here, and keep the operation moving. So, let's go. Alright, so it's gotten dark. It's been about two hours since I've last recorded another clip. But I've been just been catching up, getting the grain cart loaded into, unloaded into the wagons, getting everything hooked back up, and catching up. So now. What a mess. Just down, gotta go pick it up. Getting caught up in the corn head. So, guess I'll go help them pick it up. What fun. Alright, that's it for today. We'll come back tomorrow and move all the equipment over to the other farm. Alright guys, so we changed our plans and instead of today going to go move all the equipment to the other farm and start harvesting corn, we're going to go to the other farm, to the Danker farm, and I'm going to go disc down bean stubble so dad can drill wheat because today is the last day or the cutoff day for insurance so if we plant wheat after this date, then it won't be covered by the insurance, by our insurance, our crop insurance. So it's muddy. It's really mud. It's pretty muddy at this farm and really muddy at home, but we got to do it. We just have to drill the wheat because we have the insurance. We need to be have the wheat insured. So we just got to drill the wheat, ram it into the mud. And at least we can say we got it planted so we can get our insurance in case something does happen or whatever. We just got it. We paid for our insurance. Might as well take it. So yeah, I'm gonna go disc some ground, but that'll be in another video. And I, that'll be in another video, so stay tuned for that video. That'll be out next week. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, give it a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe right down below. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.